there, here's Kakako with a new computer craft turtle program for you. Uh, but first of all, I hope you're all doing well in these times. And secondly, uh, I know it's been a long time, but just as last time I started again to play in a new Minecraft world on the new 1.16 with the Direwolf 20 mod pack. And here we are. There is computer craft included, or to be more precisely, it's uh, CC tweaked by Squid Dev. And yeah, I get all my software recording and cutting software again running. I'm now using OBS for recording and for cutting. I'll try to use uh, Pinnacle Studio. I grabbed it just recently from Humble Bundle. And well, if you're able to watch this video now, then I would was at least to some degree successful. Um, in the meantime, there are also some changes in YouTube. I'll try to make use of this new video segment description thingy, so you are easier to skip around if you like. And also, uh, yeah, maybe let me say two sentences about the notification bell. Well, I personally use it for smaller channels, which put out only a few videos every now and then. So, yeah, hint, hint. Maybe you've got an idea <laughs> what, what you could do if you like. Okay, but for now, let's talk a little bit about redstone and redstone contraptions. Uh, there have been updates to computer craft. I'm not sure when it happened, but turtles place now items like redstone torches much more consistently in the world. Before it would be dependent on the cardinal direction the turtle is facing, uh, whether it places the torch here or there. And now it's always placing it in, in this scenario on this block. So this makes building programs for redstone much easier. It's still sometimes a little bit tricky because you have to get yeah, managed the orientation of blocks like uh, pistons. And also there are some limitations because turtles cannot interact with repeaters, meaning that more complex redstone contraptions and also very compact contraptions are not possible to be built by a turtle alone. Mm, however, if you have an idea for a relatively easy redstone contraptions, you would like to see a program for, please let me know it in the comment section. To show you the program, I set up a turtle ready to start building a door two by three. And during the building process, the turtle gives you some additional information about in which step it is. But for now, let's just let's watch it. Uh, you see the turtle replaces some of the blocks. Uh, this is to make sure that uh, later the turtle can place redstone on it. So first the hole. Then those are helper blocks for the right positioning of the pistons. Or at least the upper and the lower one are helper blocks. Now the redstone. turtle moves here in to check that there is no block behind the redstone torch uh, because this makes it possible to place the redstone torch on the floor. The pressure plates, the door itself, oh and a mistake. What happened there? Okay, I fixed the door and the program. Uh, lucky to happen now, uh, before I publish the pasting code. Let's have a closer look into the details of the program. Uh, maybe one more small hint, label set. 
Uh, if you're using a new turtle, you should always first label it. And I usually label it using the ID. And then we have to paste bin get the program b for build door two by x paste bin get enter and maybe also we move the turtle upwards go up for example five blocks to show you that you can also use it to build in midair then when we execute the program door Without any parameter, you will get some info screens uh, telling you, yeah, building a two by three piston door. Uh, the footprint of the door, the, the minimum footprint will be just this one row uh, with pistons before and after the door. Uh, if you choose the other options as well, as I assume most of you will do, uh, you will have also a front wall and a back door, a uh, back, <laughs> back wall. And the turtle is facing uh, the left side of the door. So that's for the information. Then you will need in slot number one, at least six sticky pistons, two redstone torches, uh, at least 13 redstone dust. And this was also the, the mistake. It only needs 12, but with the 13th, uh, then the additional helper blocks will be used for the door if you're using the minimal uh, number of blocks. Um, so this is fixed now uh, for pressure plates and slot number five, at least 26 blocks uh, to build with. The total will need a little bit of fuel. Then you've got a few options. Uh, when you put in slot number 13, at least 18 blocks, and I choose randomly uh, those polished scoria uh, it will build a front wall. Slot number 14 is for the back wall. And if you want to have a different block instead of this one, uh, you put at least six blocks in slot number 15. Then a small yeah, feature summary. Uh, as I already mentioned, uh, the turtle replaces blocks before it puts redstone dust on top of it. You can build on mid-air. Well, we will see now. You can also build uh, within a mountain. And when you fill all resources up, uh, you can build up to three doors in one go. We've got those three options. And when you've got two less fuel, you could put fuel items in slot number six, 16. Okay, let's press enter and see if everything goes well now. Okay, this time everything was okay. Uh, and we've got a back wall, a front wall, and door blocks of a different kind. Uh, let me prepare also the short demonstration for the turtle building uh, the door contraption within a mountain. All right, we are now here at my small demonstration mountain to show you that the program also works in the mountain or better say underground. Uh, just keep it away from water because redstone is not a big fan of water. And I'll start a short time lapse uh, once more.
Okay, it's done. And now you could, for example, start here your mining cave. Oops, ouch. <laughs> okay, I think this was it for this episode. Um, I hope you liked this video. Think about the bell and if you have ideas for redstone contraptions, please leave me a comment. Bye bye.